Oh, Peach. However, I wondered. Your castle, it looks so beautiful. So stunning. Like an angel. But what if we wanted to mess that up, guys? Like, really mess it up. And today, I can show you guys how to hack Super Mario 64 object positioning. And some other things. Using the Toad's Tool 64 tool for the ROM. So, let's get out of this, guys. And let's go to Toad's Tool 64. If you haven't downloaded this tool yet, you want to go to romhacking.net and search up for utilities over here and then game Super Mario 64 and 64 and then you can scroll down for this and it's also for Mac now to use this tool you also need to have this tool for ROM extending and I'm going to explain that later but okay so go to download this and I have Windows 7 of course so alright so Toad's Tool 64 is a level editor in which you can move objects and completely change levels. And you can corrupt them! <laughs> okay. Uh, you will need to use the ROM extender. Alright. So just download this and then type in whatever password it wants you to put in. Okay. So we're going to go to Toad's Tool 64 now. And, and I have the the Z64 file. Now I'm going to explain why it's a Z64 file. Okay. So I have all my modification utilities in here. Okay, and 64 utilities. And then, um, now first of all, you want to go to download this, um, the size extender at romhacking.net. For Windows, if you have Windows. For Mac, if you have Mac. Blah 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 if you have blah blah blah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so um there's this readme. It says um ROM extender version one point two. Okay. And I do recommend downloading the newest version. Okay. So uh some info in here, whatever. Okay. And then it says down here that you will need a specific version of the ROM, which is US 1.0. It is called Super Mario 64 U Explanation Mark. And you can download this file at, at loveroms.com. Just use Google as your friend to get there. Because Google loves us. <laughs> okay. Um. And. <laughs> okay. Um. So. So you want to go to open the ROM once you've opened it. And I already have the EXT file, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate. All right, go to open up this EXE. Don't worry about these. Okay. Open up this. Just, okay. Uh, don't worry about this dialogue here. It's just info. Okay. Um, And then you want to open up your Super Mario 64 ROM. And yes, it, it does have to be that 1.0, not the one from Emu Paradise. Okay. So yeah, and then you have to wait for it to load, and then it's going to it's going to come out in the same directory where it is, and it will be called um, the same thing with the extension EXT and Z64. And the, the 1.0 is Z64. The regular one is N64. Yes, I have some other games that I have downloaded. Okay. So, you just don't want to mess around with these extensions. Just leave the name the way it is. Do not take out the Z64 or whatever. Okay. Now, go to open up where you downloaded Tools Tool 64.exe. And there's this readme in HTML and it shows you how to use it. But I'm going to I'm going to show you guys like like literally show you guys how to use this as some of you guys probably don't like reading like me <laughs> okay so alright well it is actually pretty easy to use and I've messed around with it a couple times you can like seriously mess around with Mario's size using this and you want to like double click and you want to open up your ext file right here I recommend making a backup over here of the EXT file 
so that you don't have to reset. Yeah, so you can copy paste it anytime. All right. So load it. So we'll just wait for it to load. Okay, guys. Um, the front of this program. Okay, it's going to open up by default in the castle entrance level, which is like where you see the key to and whatever. Okay. Um, now, first of all, this interface. Now, this is the view of the level. You can change the level over here using this cyan arrow. Um, you can change it to whatever else other levels. Um, I have no idea what these numbers mean, um, yeah, but you can change the levels like that. Um, yeah, you can edit the, the view, you can edit the way it looks in the game, and I know, guys, how hard it is to hack ISOs, but it's pretty easy to hack ROMs. You just really need to know what you're supposed to be doing. Um... Yeah, it is easier to hack ROMs than it is ISOs. That's very true. Okay, so so we can go back to Okay, how do I go back to the default? Um just wait guys. Okay guys, well I had to scroll down to Castle Grounds. Alright. So, um this interface, it shows the version up here in the top right corner. No, top left I mean. Um and it says the name. Um, I wonder why they call it Toad's Tool. I think it's called because to because um, Peach was called Toad's Tool back then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is the level editor, of course, and um, it says Open ROM. This only works with Super Mario 64, guys. Um, after you're done edit editing the object positions in this in this thing. Then you can click on save up here and then quit. You can launch, you can edit the textures, which you can go see all this stuff, and I think you can like, like, edit all the, like, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can export it, and then you can edit it. Yeah. So basically, you can, you can actually change, like, the coloring in the game, yeah. Um... So you can change Mario's size, and that's so hilarious, guys. Like, you can change it to 5.0 instead of 1. And, and yeah, um, mostly all you'd have to do after you, after you edit the values is just go back to back to level editor, and then it automatically saves it like that. So, yeah, um... You can go up here and click on 3D objects, macro 3D objects, spectral, or whatever, area music, um, uh, you can change, like, when, when it plays or when it triggers or whatever, but I don't, I don't know, don't know really how to do that. But I can show you guys how to do some pretty cool things using this tool. Um, preferences you can change the options and then you can go back I don't know yep um, 3d objects okay so first we would start with 3d objects in order to start th in order to edit the the warp positions I think you have to edit like the the parameters some like some kind of values that determine the like the um, yeah but I, I'm not really sure how to change the warp positions. Um, parameter, huh? One. Okay then. Just want to leave it, I guess. All right. Don't know what this means. Really, do not know. Okay, so. Um, you can change, um, Yoshi, which would be up there, or, or not, okay. 
Oh, wait, actually, yep. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to position the camera. Okay. Uh, there's some way you can do that. Orbit? Oh, yeah, there we go. Orbit mode. Um, there's this mo- there's these options down here. You can view front, you can- Oh, whoops, what did I do there? Oh my god, what the heck did I just do? <laughs> what the- Okay, back. Uh, god, what the hell? Um, okay. Top, and then bottom, and then left, right, flying around, and then orbit. So it's like, you can change like the- Okay, what the heck did I just do? Oh, what the- Something just happened. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, uh, you can change um, position even of objects, which that's pretty cool. Um. All right. So you can make Yoshi like <laughs> away from his original spot. Okay. I I'm guessing you can. Yep. Uh huh. Then you can just make him be over here. And you can check keep on ground so that you don't have to worry about the um, the messing around with the X, Y, Z values. X means horizontal, Y means vertical, and Z means the depth. Just to, just to clarify that. Okay, so you can change the the um, the signpost position. So like where Mario starts. Yeah. Can change that, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but you can kind of basically just like break up levels using this thing. It's like a demolisher. You see that that tool for Luigi's Mansion that lets you view the bin files, yeah. Um, yeah, and I appreciate anybody who viewed my video on Luigi's Mansion hacking, yeah. The tool, that tool by Space Cast is pretty cool, guys. Um, this tool, I believe it's by, uh, no, N64 Hacker. Yeah, that's his username. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can basically just break up these levels, okay. Alright, keep on ground. There we go. Okay. Um, command, whatever that means, okay. Okay, what what the heck did I just do? No, 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 no. What the heck did I do? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this means. Okay, whatever. Alright, so the mushrooms, the one-up mushrooms, you can like... There is, there is a way to change parameters, but I, I really don't understand how people do that. I mean, it, it's really confusing. <laughs> okay. So let's, let's try changing the, the music to like the wing cap. And I apologize, you, you can't hear any sound because my, because I can only record my my sound and microphone at at different times. Yeah, I can't I can't um, record like both. Okay, so yeah, we could save what we've got, and yeah, we just made some basic edits of of object positions, and we can change this back to fly. So we can like yeah. So yeah, guys. Okay. So you want to, oh, so you want to click on uh, save, and then it automatically saves as another uh, ed edited ROM file, and then you can just quit like that. Okay. Okay, so you want to go back to whatever emulator you've got here, like I have Project 64, so... And then open ROM, so you want to open up this extended version file, and then, alright. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, it is the wing cap music right there, but you guys can't hear it, can you? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me skip this part. 
Okay, guys, and yep, Mario is now Wreck-It Ralph, pretty much. <laughs> and as you would see here, we would change some of the object positions. Um, yeah, some of these don't work as well. But yeah, some some basic edits. <laughs> what the heck? Mario's like sliding down. <laughs> okay. All right, so. What the heck? Okay. You can, like, make the trees be, like, right in Mario's way. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just trying to demonstrate, guys. So, I hope you guys like this video, and, um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later for some more videos on hacking and programming tutorials. Goodbye, guys.